Welcome to this YSL video tutorial. So if you've been following the other videos in this sequence, you'll have learned all about the basic conditional formats you can apply to cells. So from basic highlight cells rules, where you choose a number and what comparison you want to make with, uh, with the number you've chosen, um, all the way through to data bars and even the fancy icon sets. The one type of conditional format we haven't dealt with yet is how you use formulas or calculations to determine which cells to format. So an example of that would be where you want to format one cell based on the condition held in another cell. And that's something that conditional formatting can't apply by default. But we can create our own formula to make that work. So the example we're going to use is I'd like to be able to format any film names where the type of film is an action film. That's my favorite kind of film. So what I have to do to start with is select all of the cells that I want to see formatted. So not the ones that contain the value I'm testing, but the ones that I want to see colored in. So I'm going to click on cell A2 there, hold down Control and Shift, and then tap the down arrow key. That selects all the films. Just before I do anything else, I'm going to scroll back up to the top of my list so that I can see the, the first cell I had selected. That's, that's kind of important in this example. Then I can go back to the conditional formatting button that I, we've seen lots of times in this series. And I'm going to ignore all of the options available to me with the quick links. Head all the way down to this option here called New Rule. And when I click on this, I get the new formatting rule dialog box. Now from the top part of the list of the dialog box from this list, I'm going to select this option here called Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. So there we go. Now in here, in the box, I have to type in some kind of formula or expression that determines which cells I want to format. So here's the idea. You always start your expressions in this box with an equal sign. It's just like typing in a, a formula into a cell. Now, the way to, uh, to work with this, even though I've got all of these cells selected, all the cells from A2 down to A161, I'm going to focus on cell A2. Can you see that one's a different color to all the rest? This is the active cell, whereas all the other cells are just selected. So based on the active cell, if the value in column E on the same row of that cell was the word action, then I'd want to format Jurassic Park. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say equals. I'm going to click on cell E2. And then I'm going to type in another equal sign and open up a set of speech marks or double quotes. That's shift and the number two on most keyboards. Type in the word action and then close the double quotes. Okay. There's one important change I need to make here. Depending on how much you know about cell references in Excel, and watch out for another video coming up about cell references, we need to remove the dollar sign from in front of the number two in this cell reference. So I'm going to click just before them, just before the number two and then press backspace to remove the, uh, the dollar sign. People who know about this can also use the F4 key. If you click somewhere in the cell reference here and press the F4 key, carry on pressing the F4 key and you'll see it cycles through various uh, combinations of dollar signs and no dollar signs. The final result is I want it to say dollar E2. So just one dollar sign in there. Okay. What this means is that the number two will be different in each row that the format is applied to. So for Spider Man, it's going to test if E3 equals action. For King Kong, it'll be E4, and so on and so on and so on. Last thing that remains is to apply a quick format to the cells I want. I'm going to pick any arbitrary color here. Let's pick a let's pick a purple color to highlight my action films, and then choose OK. Choose OK one more time, and there we go. So I should find that any cells, any film names on the same row where the type is action, gets the conditional format that I want. It's a little bit more fiddly, but it can have nice effects. I could actually copy that format to all sorts of other cells in this spreadsheet. So let's uh, pick on cell A2 here. I can click on the Format Painter tool. Maybe you know about this already. When I've clicked on the Format Painter tool, I could say I could highlight the directors and studios. Click and drag on a whole bunch of cells. And essentially, anything that's on the same row of a 
film whose type is action is going to be formatted with this purple background color. The only disappointing thing about what we've done here is how undynamic it is. It's always going to format action films unless I physically go back and change the conditional formatting terms. So there's one slightly more interesting idea you might want to consider if you're going to go down this route. What I've done is I've actually set this up on a different worksheet. I'm going to click down here on Sheet 2. And what I've done is I've inserted a couple of extra rows just above my film list. It still has all the same conditional formattings applied as from previously. So what I've done here is I've typed in the word adventure this time into cell B1. And I'm going to use that to determine which film names to highlight. So I'm going to select all of my film names again, traditional way, using the keyboard shortcuts, Control shift down arrow, and then scroll all the way back up to the top. Back to conditional formatting, choose new rule, and again, choose the option, use a formula to determine which cells to format. Now this time, I'm going to click into the box, type in equals, and again, I'm going to refer to cell well, it's E4 in this case, and I want to get rid of the dollar sign from in front of the number 4, so I'm going to hit uh, the F4 key once, twice. So this formula reads equals dollar E4. Then I'm going to type in another equal sign, and this time instead of typing in the literal text, the word action, inside a set of double quotes, or the word adventure, I'm going to click on the cell in which I've already typed that word. So that reads in as $B, $1. Now I want to keep both of the dollar signs in that example. So I'm going to leave that one as is. Click on the Format button and pick another colour to format, in my, format my cells in. I'm going to pick this sort of pale orangey colour this time. Choose OK. Choose OK again. And this time, any cells, any film names, where the type of film on the same row is the same as what I've typed into cell B1, will be formatted. Now, the big advantage of this system is that if I decide I want to look for different types of films, like not that I ever would, but if I wanted to look for romance films, I can type in the word romance, and Excel will highlight the romantic films for me. But uh, let's uh, get rid of that fairly quickly. Let's have a look at comedy films, and it's comedy ones that are highlighted, and science fiction, and you get the idea at this point, I'm sure. So there we go. That's how you can use formulas in conditional formats to highlight a cell based on the value stored in another cell. Hope that helps.